Uh, thank you. Before uh, before I start, I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you very much to Gregory and Sandra for hosting this event. And please, everyone, join me in wishing our hostess, Sandra, a very happy birthday today. But we're here today to recognize the contributions to Tango from our two, our own, Andrea and Adrian. But I'd like to recognize them in context, and specifically in three contexts. One, community. Two, commitment. And three, consistency. I invite you all to look around your table at yourselves, the other people sitting at your table, the people next to you, maybe across the room, and ask yourselves, what do I see? What you see is community. And community is defined as a feeling of fellowship with others as a result of sharing common attitudes, interests, and goals. And our common interest here, as we all know, is tango. I think it's safe to say that everyone in this room has benefited from Andrea and Adrian's contributions over the years to our community. That may sound like a broad statement, but it's true. For 20 years, Andrea has been teaching tango here in the Bay Area in both group and private classes. That's countless classes over the years, and countless students who have benefited from her passion for this dance. And as we all know, Andrea was joined by Adrian in October of 2015, and ever since their joint classes have been the ones to attend, at least they have been for me. However, giving classes only goes so far. You need an opportunity to practice what you've been taught. Andrea and Adrian have answered that call by holding regularly scheduled monthly milongas up and down the peninsula, from Palo Alto to Los Altos to San Jose, and now Milonga La Reina in Mountain View. Andrea and Adrian have gone above and beyond to help nurture our community. But perhaps no single contribution to not only our Bay Area community, but to the greater national tango community has had more impact than ATUSA, Andrea and Adrian's flagship annual event. An event that put the Bay Area on the national tango map, hosting dancers from across the nation to not only compete, but to spectate, take classes, and dance in the longer. Andrea and Adrian's ATUSA is the nation's premier tango event. ATUSA is the only event in the United States sanctioned by the Ministry of Culture of the Autonomous City of Buenos Aires, Argentina. Winners of the Salon Tango and Stage Tango categories are immediately entered into the semifinal round of the Mundial de Tango in Buenos Aires every August, and Andrea and Adrian regularly host a tour to see that. No other tank in the event in the United States can make that claim, none. And it happens right here on our tour every single year, thanks to the tireless efforts of Andrea and Adrian. Commitment. <clears throat> the crucial ingredient to accomplish all of that is commitment. Many don't realize what it takes to organize a simple Yolanda. When you rent a hall, that's what you get, an empty hall. You have to set it up. You have to provide the tables, the decorations, the sound system, the music, or a DJ, everything. And at the end of it, just like at the end of this event, everything you see around you is going to have to be cleaned up. That takes an awful lot of time, an awful lot of dedication, an awful lot of commitment. So when you give them the longer, you're married to it because the answers anticipate that it happened every single month, whether you care to or not. If you're sick, if you're tired, if you don't feel like doing it, my long bell, like the show, has to go on. Now take all of that and multiply it by a factor of at least a hundred to put on a national event like ATUSA. Coordinating the hotel venue, professional dancers, classes and topics, DJs, sound systems, vendors, the competition and promotion is, believe me, an enormous It is also an enormous financial risk because every bit of that has to be paid for. 
The entire process is an exhausting one. The thing that keeps Andrea and Adrian at it year after year is commitment. Commitment to the greater Tango community and to Tango itself. And all of that requires consistency. Andrea and Adrian's classes, the Milongas, and the HUSA event are all consistently good day after day, month after month, year after year. Their Milongas are always welcoming with plenty of beverages and since the pandemic, snacks to, uh, for the dancers to enjoy. Typically, Adrian serves as DJ at their Milongas and this is after working hours before the event to set it up and then again afterwards to break it all down. They both pay meticulous attention to detail at all their classes, and even their group classes. At the end of the group class, you can regularly see either Andrea or Adrian giving dedicated one-on-one -on -one instruction to an individual dancer, and that's a reflection of their passion for the dance. So that's a reflection not only to, of, of their commitment, not only to their students, but to Tango itself. They want their students to succeed, and they want them to become competent dancers. That's why they do it. And finally, HUSA is the centerpiece that, of the Tango world. Their, their attention to detail at the national event is unlike any I've seen in nearly any other Tango event nationwide. And every year, HUSA goes off without so much as a hitch, although I'm sure they're playing behind the scenes. So on behalf of everyone in the room, I'd like to say Andrea and Adrian, thank you so much for everything you've done for us. And for